So hi guys. So the idea for today's video came from Kenny. I'll leave a link to him in the description. So Kenny asked if I could talk a little bit about Christmas tradition where I am. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I don't think our Christmas tradition is going to be much different to those of you guys stateside, but I will tell you guys a little bit about them anyway. Maybe if you guys are from another part of the world, they'll be a little bit different, but we will see. So let's get into this. So first off, all the family come together to help decorate the tree. That's at least what we do in our house. When I was a kid, we'd also sing carols door to door and collect money for charity. So when we were kids, we'd write a letter to Father Christmas or Santa Claus or Santi about like what we'd want for Christmas and stuff like that. I don't do that anymore, but I still have a kind of like a wish list in my head. And we used to drive around with my mum and we post off Christmas cards to all our friends and family that were nearby. On Christmas Eve, we'd leave a mince pie and carrots up for Father Christmas and put a stocking up on the bed for the presents and then go to midnight mass. So the period of time before Christmas is called Advent. During Advent there are four Sundays before Christmas and other than going to church on these Sundays we mark the day by on weeks one and two lighting a purple candle. Colour purple is symbolic of penance. The third Sunday we light a pink candle for Gaudé Sunday. Gaudé means rejoice in Latin. It's celebrating that Christmas is near. There is also a white candle in the middle which is the Christ candle which we light on Christmas Eve during midnight mass and all the candles are placed in a wreath made of evergreen which symbolises eternal life. In our house it's a bit of Irish and Polish, so it's a bit of a mash-up in our house. So Dan makes his Polish soup on Christmas Eve, but in Poland it's basically like a big deal on Christmas Eve, like almost bigger than Christmas Day. The feasting begins with the appearance of the first star, in remembrance of the star of Bethlehem, also known as the Little Star. So we usually watch the nativity and then go out with friends. I go off to the pub to see my friends kind of every Christmas Eve. And then I rush off to midnight mass and I'm usually fashionably late for that. So there's a carol service and then a mass beginning at midnight. So on Christmas Eve, after midnight mass, at around 2am we kind of pile home, have some Prosecco and snacks that my mum's made, and all of us then toast to Christmas. And then me and Tig exchange a gift each and then we go to bed, usually like by 3.30 or 4am, absolutely knackered. <laughs> so then in the morning, we get up and we watch the Pope's Blessing, have a Bucks Fizz, so yeah, a bit more alcohol. It's the Irish in us, I think. And then we open gifts. Some people in the UK watch the Queen's Speech. We've never really bothered with that, really. So dinner is then prepared and we all sit down as a family and stuff our faces. I hate Brussels sprouts but we have them because it's kind of like a tradition in the UK to have Brussels sprouts even though they are just bile. <laughs> we have them anyway. We have a big old roast with like potatoes, uh, chicken. We're not really mad on turkey so we don't have turkey. Carrot, sweet, parsnips, all those kind of good things. Gravy, Yorkshire pudge and uh, pigs in blankets. And we all pull Christmas crackers with really dodgy terrible jokes inside and put the little Christmas hats on as well. After that we all kind of celebrate with friends, family and just have a good few drinks and dance and just be crazy really. And then on St Stephen's Day or Boxing Day we all just chill and watch films and that kind of thing and basically nurse the hangover. <laughs> Though in Ireland there is the Wren which is a lot of fun to be honest. Everyone dresses up, going around the streets and playing music and it's a lot of fun. One year hopefully we'll be in Ireland for Christmas and then we can we can partake in all the craziness that goes on back over in Ireland. Father Christmas is like an English way of saying Father Christmas. In Ireland we say Santi and obviously America is like Santa. It's a great old crack, we all come together Christmas and we have a lot of fun, have friends, family and we all just kind of have a big old piss up really and just have a good time. So yeah, that's our Christmas in a nutshell. That's us at Christmas, what about you guys? What do you guys do at Christmas? Let me know down below what you guys do at Christmas. Hope you guys enjoyed hearing about our antics and a little bit about what we do and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.